Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Island Survival Series. The last episode, I went... What the hell did I do last episode? You know, that's a great start to the episode. I'm still keeping this in, you know? Last episode... Oh, that's right. I forgot. I made the underground little uh, crop farm. I don't know how I forgot about that. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, it's down here. We got carrots, uh, wheat, and potatoes. And then a little tree farm over here. And that's about it. Took a pretty good amount of time to dig out this whole section, but... Uh, I still technically have some work to do trying to dress this up a little bit, but, you know, never really got to that. Could actually probably end up doing that on maybe a future stream. We'll see. But, um... In this episode... I plan on going to the Woodland Mansion. It's, uh, roughly 7,000 blocks away northeast. Where, north, where, where are we at here? So, around this direction. If we're heading this way, we have to go 7,000 blocks before we find one. But, um, I would like to still go ahead and show you guys how to get there without needing to... Um, either go into creative or anything like that, so. Or, you know, go into creative and just fly around for three hours until you, you find one. It's pretty simple. Kind of. It takes a lot of stuff. Resources, so. I'm going to see if I can do it without needing to. I'm not going to have to go into creative, but I'm going to. I might need to. Um, what the hell's the word I'm thinking of? Having a brain fart here. I might need to take a look at a screenshot so I know exactly where the coordinates are, because I have a duplicate of this world and I just spawned all the stuff in and then traded with the villager, got the map, and then uh, figured out where it was, just flew over there. But obviously I'm not going to do that in this world. Um, I think we're good, equipment-wise. This pick, uh, I don't know if I should bring this pick or not. I don't think I should bring it. Just in case I get blasted over there. What is on this pick? It's the same thing, pretty much. I'm going to bring... Let me see if I can get a decent enchantment on this iron one real quick. Let's see. What can we get? Perfect. 100% fine with that. That's good. So. Let me go ahead and just put away this other pick that I have here. This iron one should be fine. I'm not really too worried about it. I'm not doing anything that crazy. And I don't want to lose that good old fortune pick. Even though I have a second one. Still. Not really interested in losing it. Ah, oh, I got wood. I got the compass. For when I trade with the villager. So I'm bringing all the shuriken so I can make paper. So I can buy emeralds. Got food, torches, some wood, just in case. I got this potion of, whatchamacallit, potion of instant health, potion of healing, from when I was up at the XP farm. A witch dropped it, so I'm going to take my horse out. We need to head, I believe, what is this, south? No, we need to head west. And I'm going to try to find a village... That I had found in the in the desert, and I think the villager, the specific villager that we need, should be there. So we'll see. So I'm gonna cut out real quick, head over there. I'll show you the coordinates when I get there, and then uh, I'll see if I can do most of the trading, and then we can head and try to find that woodland mansion. Alrighty, guys, we're coming up on the village. Didn't realize it was this far away, but. We have finally made it over here. And I gotta tell you, I'm not looking forward to traveling 7,000 blocks on a horse. It's uh, it's quite annoying, I gotta be honest. Is there a house over here that has a little fenced in section? Alright, here we go. Just throw the horse in over here. What uh, kind of villager is this? What's up, dude? That's what I'm talking about. What's up, brother? So this is the villager I was talking about. So, 
I don't know if I'm going to have enough here. That's a lot of paper. Hmm, I guess we'll figure that out. So, I'm going to make a crap ton of paper here. So we get, what, a stack from each of this? Pretty much. And it's going to vary a little bit, but I think I'm going to need maybe like 18 emeralds, maybe. Something around there. So I'm just going to make as much paper as possible and then see how much I can buy from this dude. So now we'll wait for his whatchamacallit update. So now we give him a compass. Is that the one I'm thinking of? Oh, uh, I hope it is. I think we need to give him a compass for the map. Here's an empty map. Let's keep trading with this guy. This dude's gonna be rich. Okay. And then we gotta refresh it. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, well... Oh wait, did it update? Yeah. So we need 20 for the Woodland Mansion. Woodland Explorer's map. We need 20 emeralds for that. Ah, I don't think we're going to have enough, but we're going to be off by like the slightest bit. That's 13. Should update again. I'm going to see real quick. We'll leave him there. Is this a... Uh, yeah. Oh, this guy had a cheaper... Oh, damn. Did I actually, do I actually have enough? I think I'm only missing... Oh, wow. That blows. Alright, I'm off by like the slightest bit. Huh. Is this another one too? Come over here. He's selling it for 36. What about this guy right here? This place is loaded with these... Specific villagers. Um, hmm. You know, I think I'm almost 100% positive. If I didn't buy uh, all the emeralds from this guy, I, I think I would have had enough. So, that kind of blows. So, it looks like I'm either going to have to... I'm pretty much going to have to go back to my house. Unfortunately. So, okay, here's a coordinates. I don't know if I forgot to show you guys or not. And I gotta tell you, a horse that can only jump... I think this horse can only jump two blocks. Man, good, uh, good way to check. Uh, I think it's only two blocks. It sucks trying to go through this biome with a horse that only jumps two blocks. It's, uh... It's not fun, I can tell you that much. And unfortunately, all the horses I found were pretty... They had like a lot of hearts, but they were really slow. And they didn't jump high at all. And this was pretty much the best horse, and that's not saying much, because this horse is pretty bad. So, I'm going to head back to the house. I'm going to make another compass. I think I need a compass and some more sugar cane, and that should do the trick. And I think eventually I might expand that underground farm I have and maybe add a sugarcane section since I use all my sugarcane doing this. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head back and grab some sugarcane right here actually, luck luckily, and get that compass and then head back over to the village and buy the rest of the stuff that I need. So I'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty guys, 10 years later I am finally back. I think... That should be more than enough paper. And... Got another compass as well, so we should be good here. We should be able to get this Woodland Explorer's map. Is this the... Is this the dude? No, this is the dude. Alright, so let's hook him up. Okay. This horse just takes off without me. Eh, would do me a favor if he left me. Alright, so, now we'll go ahead and give him all of this stuff now. 
There we go. So now, yeah. So technically, like I said, since I already know what this is, I don't really have to use this, but I kind of want to just, just to show you guys how to get this if you guys didn't know how. I had no idea how to get this until I watched the video on it. Um, personally, I honestly don't even think this Woodland Mansion is even worth going to. Mainly because you don't really get anything that great from it. Unless, the only reason why I would go is if um, there was one nearby. Like, I wouldn't go out of my way to go to this, personally. Um, if I wasn't doing a series right now, I probably wouldn't even be going to this, but kind of want to just show you guys. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm missing something, I don't know, but from the stuff you get from there, it doesn't really seem like it's worth making the trip, but I guess it does give you something else to do. Alright, I'm just g gathering some wheat here for my horse that doesn't even love me. Where the hell did it go? Alright, well. Good thing my horse decided to leave without me. I guess he... Oh, there he is. Bastard. Alright, well. Now. It is a matter of going... Oh, we're going this way, huh? So yeah, if you look at it, since I'm on the bottom left, I have to go east a little bit and then go north. So say if you were in the bottom right, you'd have to go south and then west. Alright, hopefully you guys understood that. I'm going to go ahead and pretty much cruise my way over here. It's going to take... I don't even want to know how long this is going to take. It's going to take a really long time, and I'm not looking forward to it. Hopefully, I can just... It'll be just a bunch of planes biomes, but I know it's going to be roof forest. Roof forest might be the worst biome to try to get through on a horse. But we'll see. I'm going to make my way over to the Woodland Mansion, and then we'll go ahead, and hopefully we won't get destroyed in there. I guess we'll see if that happens or not. I don't know if I have pumpkins or not. Why was he walking backwards? I'm just going to grab that pumpkin. Just because I don't know if I have any. I think we're going to... Uh, we might see a jungle. On the way. This is what I didn't want to happen. I already have to figure out how to push my horse across. Alright, well, I'm going to figure this out. Hopefully make my way over to that woodland mansion. And then, yeah, I'll come back in and hopefully... We'll conquer that place and then we'll see what... The race to do after that. Alrighty, guys, I am finally back. And I was actually wrong. I said it was negative 7,000 on the on X. And, uh, yeah, it's a negative 9,500. But whatever the case is, I just threw on a live stream and just hanging out anyway. So. It didn't take that long, actually. Uh, I think I had to sleep two days? Maybe? Dude, what kind of cliff is this? This is one hell of a cliff. Ooh. Okay. So. We're not too far off here. Dude, look how big this... This structure is huge. And I was, I was thinking about it. I'm not saying that this thing looks terrible but why don't they get people that actually uh are pretty damn good at building why don't they let them make these structures because i'm pretty sure like it looks pretty decent the way it is but i feel like there's people that could have made this could have maybe they could have given um maybe this template and then they could have adjusted it and then used their adjusted version but um Cool structure regardless. It's definitely, you can't miss this damn thing. It's huge. Um, yeah, so we finally made it over here to the Woodland Mansion. Finally. Here's the coordinates if you don't want to get the map and you are using this seed. I also passed a Mega Taiga biome and an Ice Spikes biome. Those two actually look pretty cool. Uh, on the way here. And, um, yeah. Finally we are here after 20 hours. Honestly, it could have taken a lot longer. Alright, so I can't really complain. 
Uh, plus, that was the whole point of this update, the Explorers update. So, can't really complain too much about it. They still haven't fixed this. See how it glitches? Damn, that's, that's, that's been uh, in the game for a while, I think. Alright, so we got our horse, Patrice Jr. sitting right there. Now we can go ahead and head in here. This is the first time I'm ever coming into this place, so I, I don't know what to expect, really. Or doing it in survival, at least. Um, my plan is to just go through all the rooms, and kill pretty much everything, and maybe light up some of this section. Just got a room over here, I don't know, it's like a little bedroom or something. Maybe a uh, little dining room, I don't know. So there's nothing over there. We'll head upstairs next, I just want to check out this section. There might be a couple rooms down here. Ooh, there's a chest up here. I, I honestly didn't know that there was a chest there. CD, a diamond hoe. That'll be nice, actually. And some bread. Cool. At least you can... There's a... Oh, damn. These guys actually throw stuff at you? Okay. I'm gonna sleep, actually. I feel like that would be a pretty good suggest. Is it not nighttime? I was almost damn sure it was nighttime. No, that room is just really dark. Okay. I was wrong. I thought that was a window for some reason. You know, at least I have this really good sword. Oh, that's right, you gotta... Right click is to shoot the bow, not left. I mean, this is a little, uh... What, is this guy just ignoring me? Maybe this is like a little garden area? I don't know what, what this could be. If I'm being honest. What is this? This is why I wish like actual builders made this. Because they could have had some like cool structures like farms and stuff in here. I think if I ever did a, a series. Uh, like a, a survival series. And I found one of these at the beginning. I would probably honestly empty out all these rooms and then make my own. Which we'll call it. So yeah, so like this room. This is like a nice storage room. Anything even in here? Yeah, but you get the idea. Like there's a storage room. We have like a, a farm section, maybe uh, outside or something. Um, what else? Maybe like a little alchemy lab or something. Like what is this? A jail? Oh, sorry for the frame rate mess. These, I thought these guys, holy hell, these guys do a lot of damage. My armor's not the best, but, uh, that's a pretty decent amount of damage. Three hearts. <sighs> oh, baby. Is there a guy in here? No. Whatever the case, it, it is cool that they're adding some stuff that you need to go out and explore to find and whatnot. So yeah, nice little jail cell. That's pretty cool. Uh, if that was like a survival uh, world, I would probably put like maybe like a little villager trading facility in there or something. Ooh, this is actually pretty cool. I thought this was a tree farm. These guys, these guys are pretty quick. So you dropped an emerald. All right, some some decent, not nothing too crazy. I'll take the name tag, the gold chest piece. I don't have that much room, so uh, this stuff I'm just gonna leave that in there. I don't really need that. I've got that farm back at the house anyway, so so we got some creepers in here. So this looks like a little mushroom farm. I think the stuff I'm hearing is from upstairs. I don't want to light this whole section up. That is pretty cool. It's just is empty some for some reason. Another one of these rooms. I, I thought that guy had a tomahawk. That's what I thought it was when he pulled out the weapon. But I guess it's just... Just an axe. Ooh, that's pretty nice. 
the golden apple, beetroot. Ooh, the lead. That's really useful. I'm going to take these. That stuff I'm going to leave. That protection three chest, or book, excuse me, is pretty nice. So that's the first floor. Oh, wait, wait a minute. There's this little storage facility over here. Okay. Honestly, if you plan on coming in here, I feel like having a nice bow would probably benefit you. Just so you don't have to get really close, because they hit like three hearts. Obviously, the armor I don't I have on isn't really that great, but you get the point. Being able to sit back a little bit and still shoot them would be pretty nice. Okay, so I just burned most of my torches down here, so I think there's three floors to this place. So that was the first floor. Alright, so it is nighttime now, so let me grab the bed. And I'm just gonna lay it down. Put it right there, screw it. Oh, oh. Alright, I guess I'm doing the moonwalk. Hopefully that doesn't screw up my spawn point if I do die. Alright, at least there's windows up here, so I don't really have to use too many torches. Unless there's like rooms like this, I just dump a torch down like that. Nothing in here, by the looks of it. These structures actually don't look that bad, but... On the inside, there's a, you know, a little bit of detail, which is cool. Nothing in here. Uh, I don't know what this is, like a boxing rink? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Isn't there a chest up here? Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, nice. Melon seeds. I'll take the coal. I'm gonna dump... I'll just dump all that in there. Whatever. Not gonna waste torches up there. So that that's the third floor, I think. This place is loaded with these guys. Okay. So yeah, he dropped an axe. That that is pretty cool. Huh. And you know what? I think I'm gonna end the episode when I'm done clearing out this place, but I'm interested in knowing if you guys have any idea. I'm just going to put that right there. Just because I'm running out of inventory room. Plus, I think that's how you use it, too. If you fall from like a high distance, you won't die. You'll just have half a heart left. Um, I'm going to stay here, and I want you guys to let me know in the comments if I missed anything. And then next episode, I'll come back in here. And if I did miss anything, then I will... Go ahead and check whatever you guys tell me to. If I did miss anything, if not, just let me know. Cause I I'm it's the first time I'm going through this place, so I'm not too sure if I am missing anything or not, so let me know. Oh I would say about halfway done on the second floor here. Nothing down there. Okay, so we'll kill this guy. So yeah, these are the Totem of Undying. The guys with, I think... What is it? Like a yellow coat? So, isn't there this one in here? So the guys with the yellow coats will drop them. I don't know what the hell he's doing. I'm just gonna kill him. There's another one back there, I think. No, that's just, that's just a regular one. Uh, I don't really need that bread. It's cool that we're getting some emeralds, too. Okay, so we got a couple of these guys over here. So you definitely need some decent stuff if you're planning on coming in here, but you don't need anything, like, insane, I think. Just some decent stuff, like a decent sword, some maybe enchanted iron armor, and you should be good. Okay, so I picked that up, so we've got four total. I think there might be five in total. I think that's it for the second floor. Hmm. 
Yeah, I was in here already. So let's head up here now. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of mobs up here, I'll tell you that much. Okay. Thank you. What the? Why was there a... Why is that missing? Maybe it was a glitch? I don't know. That kind of threw me off. I don't know why there was a block missing there. I got stuck. <laughs> Unfortunate. What the f So that's what I was talking about. I don't know what that is. Is it an effect? Oh, shh. It's got to be like an effect or something. If you get hit by him. And that blows. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. That's the best I'm going to get it. And we'll head back up there. Like, what? I don't know. It looks like he's injuring himself anyway. So, uh, yeah, you're probably better off not getting up close to those dudes, I would assume. Did I kill him or no? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. So we're up to five of them now. Is he dead? No. Does he... I don't know if they drop anything or not. Huh. Interesting. So take these dudes out. It doesn't look like there's like a anything crazy like boss wise in here that I can tell. But yeah, if it looks like you get hit by the dudes with the yellow jacket coat thing, whatever. These guys. Oh, he summons. Looks like you can summon them on you. Or something, I don't know. Is there anything I don't need here? Okay. I figured they dropped something, but I guess not. Drop that iron out, I don't really need that since I got the diamond one now. What's up, dude? another one of them? No, it's just a regular one. Okay. Nothing going on in here. Anyone in here? Nope. Alright, well I think that's just about it for the Woodland Mansion. Let me know, like I said. Uh, leave a comment if I did miss anything. And uh, next episode I'll come back in here. And check out whatever I missed if I did miss anything. There's a village over there too, which is quite cool. So, yeah. But other than that, I think that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. We got a bunch of these totems of undying. Six total. And we got Protection 3 book right there. Uh, Diamond Ho, Golden Apple. So we got some decent stuff. A couple of emeralds. Ooh, what is this? Ooh. All right. Let's see if we got a couple more things up here. I'm going to just take this diamond hoe for the hell of it. And we have room for it too. Nice. But other than that, thank you guys for watching this episode. It was pretty cool checking this thing out for the first time in survival. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. As usual, I'm trying to get an episode of this series out once a week for you guys. And yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys for watching as always. And I will see you guys in the next one.